We're here in Soweto at one of the many taxi ranks that dot the landscape. That's because they're the most popular form of transportation in the townships because most people don't have the money to buy a vehicle themselves and gives them accessibility to places all over Johannesburg. The taxi drivers themselves have played a key and evolving role in shaping the music scene here in Soweto. But joining me for this mission is Krishna. Krishna is from Brooklyn. Hey, how are you doing? doing great, how about yeah. you? I'm doing really well, thanks. Um, so we're gonna go now and find out a little bit more about how these guys actually fit into the music scene. So tell me, what is Krishna? Uh, well, I'm a writer and an editor for an online-only magazine that's okay. about death and dying. Yeah, an online magazine about death and dying? I know. How so big is your audience? Well, they're all dying, so they don't even know. <laughs> we don't even know, we can't even keep track. So what do you know about the music scene in Johannesburg? It was born out of the townships and uh, at the end of apartheid. So we're talking 93, 94. The music that sprung up instantaneously was, was called Kwaito. So to get the music to the people and to get these people hearing this new Kwaito music, the artists found the best way of doing it was by using taxi drivers. So the artists would give their demos to the taxi drivers to play in their taxis. I see. And that's how these musicians and Kwaito stars broke into the big time in the 90s was via taxi drivers. That's amazing. So rather than me going on and on about my definition of Kwaito, <laughs> do, you, do you actually want to hear some? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, hang on, let me stick up. This. Yeah. So this is Kwaito, and this is one of the biggest stars in Kwaito. This guy's called Bricks. Wow. What do you think? I think it's awesome. Yeah. Well, we are actually on our way now to go and meet Brent. Man, that's exciting. A star <laughs> of the music, so we're on our way now. Yeah, that was amazing. You put a whole lot of energy into that. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. I try to make sure that I bring personal experiences in, in my music, you know. Mm -hmm. Things that I've seen and everything that happens in the streets, you know. It's more like hip-hop. People who listen to Kwaito, they're mostly people who understand Ghetto Life. And am I right in thinking that taxi drivers were the way that everyone got their music out to the people? Yes, because mostly taxi, most taxi drivers, they come from the township and taxi drivers know how to pump a song. <laughs> and each and everyone who goes in and out of the taxi gets to hear your song, mm -hmm. which is good, you know. Mm -hmm. Everyone, when someone moves, gets, gets out of the car, he wants to go and buy that CD, and that's right. what you want. Could you teach us that Mandela dance before we go? Yeah, 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 yeah. When you go, yeah, <laughs> You guys know what, man. We meet at the taxi ranks. So we're at Barra Taxi Rink in Soweto, one of the largest taxi stands in the city. Normally, at the, we call it rush hour time. Uh -huh. rush from hour. One, one, from 1 o'clock when the school children mm -hmm. comes from the school. Then we have to turn louder than before. Oh, you turn up the music yeah. at once. The kids, the kids like it louder. Yeah, that makes sense. We don't have to. Pa, 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 pa. You know, we all. That's the, the rate is coming now. Okay. Then just turn louder, then it'll come. Are there drivers that people know? I have to go in his taxi because I know that I'll hear a great new quite sure. artist. How do you find them? The people in the city are going to tell other people there is a ticket, the red one, BK. The red, the red BK. The red BK. They can also hear you coming from like blocks away, sound. probably, right? Yeah. So you probably sound. have like a big sound system. Yes. Yeah, can we go inside and have a listen? What? They're, they're, no problem. To the music, yeah. No yeah, problem. Let's do, let's do this. <laughs> it's not your typical cab ride. Okay, so four speakers in the back here. I think you actually have to be in there to really appreciate the power of the subwoofer sitting in the back and it reverberating through your entire body. It felt great. 
So if you're ever in Soweto and you're looking for a taxi, uh, BK Red. A mundane thing like getting in a cab anywhere else in the world is just that. But here, it's almost like you're immersed in a cultural activity. When I was expecting to come here, I thought, like, you know, Pakistan in New York are, like, shitholes, kind of. But this is, like, it's kind of nice here. And the, the, the taxis themselves are just immaculate. <laughs> So what's the music that you play in your taxi? Uh, well, I play house, house music, local house music. House music. So now with house, you know, you get a different sound. It's like, uh, I think they put more passion into it. And, yeah. So do you think it's like an evolution of the sound exactly, of Kuwaito? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I know I'll get more passengers because the <laughs> children, they identify with the music. Our children are patient. They'll wait for me. Really? Let's say to go back, come back, find them still standing there. In America and in Europe, you get into a taxi, you don't want to talk to the taxi driver, no. you don't want to hear his music, you turn it down. And here it's, it's a totally different lifestyle and, and acceptance of you get into it because you want to have a conversation, you want to hear the music. Do you feel like a music promoter in that respect? Yeah, I am. Because for me, the latest music means I, uh, I need more care. So we managed to track down this uh, DJ called DJ Kunis, and he appears to be a bit of an authority on house music and also the shaping role that taxi drivers have played in the house music scene here in Johannesburg. Kwaito was like the voice of the youth mm -hmm. um, during the apartheid era. Mm -hmm. So it's something that will always be there, it will never die. You know, when the youths, when they were growing up, they didn't quite like understand the, 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 the grown up. It's like, it's like in America, you've got Little Wayne, yeah. then you've got Barry White. Yeah. <laughs> you know sure, what I mean? Right. Most of the elements in that house were derived from Kwaito itself and they just upped the tempo and they made it into house. And the commercial radio stations never wanted to play that music. So what these guys did, they would go to the taxi rank mm -hmm. because the hub of South Africa is found at the taxi rank. Oh, yeah. So they took their music there and they were playing it there. They gave it to taxi drivers. And then from there, that's where that sound started growing. So taxi drivers, we owe them so much for, for the role that they played. But talking about now, there's so many ways. There's internet, there's Facebook, there's, there's so much. Right. So taxi driver's role has kind of like, you know, declined. Now they're playing it because they know it's, it's happening, everyone's talking about it. So now when you hear like your song coming out of a taxi, you know that you've made it. It's not your way of making it, you know that people have already heard your music. If a taxi driver is playing your song, then your song is big. Tonight we're meeting Lebo at a street party in Soweto to check out some local DJs spin South Africa's biggest house songs. So we finally got to the party, it's completely banging inside. Yep. Uh, we brought Labo along to check out JKN, which you do, you're gonna absolutely love them. Guys, are you ready? Wanna uh, party? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go on. What a great trip. Thanks so much for coming along. I really enjoyed like, having you along for the ride, man. Yeah, awesome. we had such a great time, such great music. I, well, I talking about the music, I mean, like, I think we can agree that whilst like taxi drivers and their role they've played has changed, they'll always be, you know, inextricably linked with music and giving it to the people here. Absolutely, and it brings people together. The, the music is irrepressible, so. Talking to music and nice being young and us still being here. Stop.